De Amerikaanse ambassade opent morgen officieel de deuren van haar nieuwe gebouw aan de Kristalstraat. Voorafgaand aan deze opening hebben journalisten vanmorgen een rondleiding gehad op het complex. Naar zeggen van Patrick Garrity, de nieuwe public affairs officer, waren de journalisten de eerste officiële gasten op de ambassade. Nadat het personeel de vorige week... Maar de vorige week maandag haar intrek had genomen in de nieuwe locatie. De constructiemanager Ken Hawkins, die de bouwwerkzaamheden van het ambassadegebouw heeft gemonitord, gaf aan dat het terrein 8 hectare groot is. Uh, this embassy compound includes a two-story chancery office building, which we're in now, uh, a maintenance shop, a warehouse. Uh, three compound access control points, which we refer to as CACs, uh, and a recreational facility, which includes a pool. Uh, this new embassy compound will provide a state-of-the-art, environmentally sensitive, uh, and sustainable workplace for our mission here uh, in Suriname. Uh, the architect was Zimmer, Gunsel, and Frasca, uh, which we refer to as ZGF. They're based out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, the contractor was BL Harbert. International Incorporated and they're based out of Birmingham, Alabama. De totale kosten zijn 164 miljoen US dollar. En de bouwwerkzaamheden zijn in januari 2014 gestart en in juli dit jaar volgens schema en binnen het budget opgeleverd. Bijkans 2000 Surinaamse werkers, als ook een aantal Amerikanen, waren betrokken bij dit constructieproject. Ambassadeur Edwin Nolan geeft aan dat dit gebouw een uitvloeisel is van de relatie die Suriname en de Verenigde Staten met elkaar hebben sinds 1790. The growth of our embassy has paralleled the relationship between Suriname and the United States. Uh, as an independent nation, Suriname is an active participant in many regional security uh, organizations, as well as the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative that was launched by President Obama. And as you may also know, we recently reached an agreement with the Transportation Safety Administration and Suriname to facilitate nonstop flights to the United States. Uh, so we're looking forward to those taking place on a regular basis. And on the defense side, for the past 10 years, the Surinamese military has worked closely with the North Dakota National Guard, I'm sorry, the South Dakota National Guard, on various training and humanitarian issues. And this new embassy allows us to maintain and expand that relationship. This building was a collaborative effort. It involved Americans, Surinamese, and other nationalities. The, the public thinks uh, 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 America wants to invade in, in, in Suriname. That's why they moved from the Soviet Monstrat to here. You're, you're referring to some public thinks we're going to invade. Uh, certainly, I would categorically reject the, uh, that notion. Uh, we have very friendly relations with Suriname. We have no reason uh, to even uh, to consider any such uh, activity. Uh, our move, is, as, as I said, is driven by needs of having a new facility and uh, our own security in, in a different international environment. And in fact, we think this new building is, is a symbol of our enduring commitment to that relationship with Suriname. Uh, and we're going to continue to work with you on, uh, the, on political, social, economic development uh, to the extent possible. Al dus ambassadeur Nolan vandaag bij de introductie van het nieuwe ambassadegebouw aan de Kristalstraat te morgen stond. De ambassade wil de zilvercertificering van de Amerikaanse Green Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design halen. Dit project is erop gericht om zo zuinig mogelijk om te gaan met water en energie. Regenwater wordt daarom gefilterd en gebruikt als drinkwater en water voor sanitair gebruik.